hello you guys so today i'm going to be doing a freestyle with these duck tips and as you guys know i don't really do too many duck nails um and i think the previous set that i had did that were duck nails were like a specific shape that the client showed me and this time i just wanted to kind of do my own thing and just give it another shot so this is my third time doing duck tips so I'm starting off by cutting them down and then I'm taking my sanding band. This is a fine sanding band and I am just gently um, tilting my drill um, forward creating like a little moon smile line or a moon arched look on the tip. Um, just to give it that like flared spiky sharp look that I'm going for. So that's what you guys see me doing here. So as I'm going on, I'm just kind of thinking in my head what I want to do for this design. And um, I kind of messed up right here. So you're going to see me just remove that acrylic and just place it on the next finger. But then you will see that I realized that that was a mistake. I did want the clear on the other nail. Um, I just started making up some designs in my head and I think I got them confused. So I'm um, just kind of messing around with the acrylic as you can see kind of all over the place. So then I realized that I did want the clear on my um, index finger, my pointer finger, and then I wanted the pink in the middle. And I tried to put the pink on top of the clear, but then it just made it look too bulky for my liking. And it was kind of sheer looking, and that was not what I was going for. So I just left it there for a minute, and then you'll see here shortly I'm going to remove that because I did not like the way that it looked.
so as you guys can see there is a difference between that pinky and that middle finger so i was like let me just do the right thing while it's still not all the way dry and just go ahead and remove it so i'm just going in with my sanding band and look how satisfying that is just to remove it oh my goodness i love it but i'm just going ahead and removing the acrylic while it is still wet and then i'm going to um go ahead and apply that pink acrylic the acrylic that i am applying is by valentino called blossom So now I'm going in with my foul and I am only fouling towards the base of my nail. I am not fouling towards the edge because I don't want to mess up that flared shape. So I'm just gently making sure that I am fouling my nails without applying too much pressure and not applying pressure towards the tip of the nail. I'm going in with my five in one drill bit. You can find this drill bit on Amazon. I think it's like nine through $12 plus just depending on which company and brand that you're using. Um, it's really inexpensive. So make sure that you guys do find a nice um, cuticle bit for your cuticles. Um, and you can find them on Amazon.
Now I'm going in with my buffer, make sure everything is nice and smooth. And then I'm going to go in with some alcohol, excuse me, in a lint-free wipe and just remove everything off the surface of my nails, any dust or anything because I do not want to contaminate my polish and I just want everything to be nice and smooth and clean. Also guys, this is a pop-off set. Um, so when I'm sealing my cuticles and doing anything, I'm not really trying to seal them per se because I will be removing this set, but I like to make sure that I'm having a good, um, good content for you guys. I'm trying to ensure that I'm posting um, I do work full time as a nail tech, so sometimes it's hard to get content when um, clients get like, you know, they may say, oh, I just want French or anything and no one's really getting designs. So after I'm done working, I have to ensure that I'm, you know, spending extra time later in my day to push out things for you guys or in between clients, try to rush and do something. So that way I have something to post for you guys. So I'm trying my best, guys. Just work with me. Um, and if there's anything that you guys may want to see and request, just either comment down below or you can write me on my Instagram or whatever works for you. So now I'm just going in and creating my French. So on this thumb, I'm going to use that lime green that you see right there on my palette. But that green, um, it, it's not really, it shows kind of like see-through. And I like to go in with a white um, before I put it down. So that way you can really see that color stand out. So if you guys have colors that show kind of transparent make sure you go in with a different base color first like a white and then go ahead and apply that um, color on top so that way you can really see the color
So now I'm going in with this beautiful blue and I am going to have to do two coats because as you can see, it shows a little bit transparent. So that is another color that I would do um, like an example for what I was saying on a thumbnail. If I were to do that color in French, I will also do like a base white. So that way it can really show the true color that it is. And now I'm just going to apply some of my silver um, gel polish it's a liner gel polish and I'm just going to apply two coats of that as well because I will do do bling on that finger so now you see me going in with my second coat and you can see how that blue really shows really nicely so that's what I'm going for I didn't want to do three coats I thought that two was good enough So now that I'm applying this green, you guys can really see the lime green for what it is. It looks really nice and it is standing out on top of that white. You can really see how beautiful it is. So now I'm just going to go in with this chrome. And I actually purchased this chrome from Amazon. Um... I need to find the name for you guys but it's i found it on amazon and i really like how it's like a liquid chrome it looks so beautiful so if you're looking for a good liquid chrome amazon has different brands and i just love this liquid chrome so i'm just gently placing lines creating like this tiger look effect um on top of this green I thought it looked really nice and cool kind of going for like a rock star look so just kind of doing different little designs like that On this finger, I didn't really know what to do, so I just decided to do like four black lines and said, hey, that'll do. So I didn't really know what to do with that finger, so I just kind of did anything. And then for this pointer finger, I wanted to um, do like an Aurora look on it, and I wanted it to be matte and do like the drip, the water drips on it. So you just see me um, gently spraying and I just went in with this baby blue and a little bit of acetone. And now I'm just making sure that it's showing really nice on the nail how I want it. Using something in the background to avoid me spraying the rest of my hand with all of that um, airbrush from, you know, the gel polish and the liquid. So make sure you have something underneath your nail. And now I'm just going in with my Koopa Matte Top Coat. And I'm going to make sure that I top coat this nail. And now I'm going in with my Koopa top coat, the shiny top coat that's not matte. And I'm just going to go ahead and top coat the other nails while I'm top coating just to go ahead and knock it out.
So for my pinky nail, I kind of want to do some fire flames. So I'm just going to go in and draw like a U shape, bring it down and just create some other flames on the side. Doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Fire is hot and wild. So just make it look kind of cute and do your own thing. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now I'm going to go in with my McCart rhinestone um, gel and I am just going to apply some little dots of it on this nail just to give it that raindrop effect. And this stuff is very sticky so make sure you're being careful when you're placing it. You don't want to have different parts of it just you know dropping all over the nail. So you see me kind of pulling far away to kind of break apart that stickiness. And now I'm going in with my pigment powder. I'm going to use red and orange because the nail is already yellow um, for the French just to give it that flame effect, the hot flame effect. So just blending a little bit. And also when I'm using pigments, what I have learned in the past, I used to cure my nail too long and then the pigments wouldn't show up um, as bold and pigmented as the colors are. So just make sure you're leaving it in there for, I say, about 10 seconds. That's what I usually do depending on... Um, what kind of lamp you're using, um, I like to do it for 10 seconds. So now I'm just going to go in with my Swarovski crystals and just apply them on the nail. And then I had ordered these spike crystals like years ago and never used them. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to use these for this freestyle. I'm going to do a rock star freestyle and use these spikes. Um, typically, this is not a everyday look that I can wear because these spikes are insane. But I thought they looked cute for this freestyle. So if you are the type of person who can wear something like this, I say go for it. And if you're not, stick with what you, what you know.
So now I'm just going to top coat this last nail. And here is my final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this look and the video. Please show love, guys. This is what keeps me being able to post and going. So if you enjoy this, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.